into mass Thors. And it's an awesome strategy because, like, they don't expect it. Who is expecting mass Thors after someone just went, like, mass, like, just awesome economy mass Thors. Like, after, they're like, this is going to be so cheesy, but there's like a, this guy's going like four racks outside of my base. No, no four racks outside of your base. Four Thors inside of your face. Oh, no, but, uh, <laughs> but here we go. I'm moving my SCV out to expand right now. And he is, um, he's going to take this one. This map kind of sucks because they have these rocks here, so I couldn't take these. But it's okay. We do, we do, we do our best with what we can. And, uh, so he's going to be planting it there. Got it pretty much right at the 400 mineral mark. Timed it pretty good. Now, it's time to start building Ellis Command Center for anything. So, I mean, if they were doing six pools, we'd be kind of screwed. But here we go. Their lings are going up right now. And they're going to go in here and poke around and see what they can do. And you're going to see how good this strategy starts to be once uh, once the Thors start coming out on the board. And here we go. So now the SCV is going to spot it. That kind of sucks. Fighting the AOs. No wall over here, unfortunately. And he's coming in here. He's doing a lot of, you know, he's pretty much taking this Zerg out of the game for now. Having to build spine cars, killing the drones. They're not sending anything over to help. I mean, he's basically holding. So they didn't do as much damage as I thought that they did. He got a spine car up? Holy crap. He pretty much owned them. Ha! <laughs> I thought they did a lot more. And now they're just streaming in Zerg most of the time. Right into a spine crawler. I think they might take it down. <laughs> Not really. And, um... Yeah, so, you know, they took at least one guy out of the game. Now, we have nobody out of the game. And they didn't hurt anybody else but him. Now, he doesn't even have a gas yet. He's throwing down mass racks. And... But now, I'm starting... The whole time, I've, I've got double gas here. Tran just, this just finished. Got my orbital up. SCVs are transferring. Get my double gas here. And I'm gonna be just. I'm just gonna keep on building SCVs, and I'm getting my first factory out right now with uh, the minerals. I got some gas pulled up, so I can start making Thors right when it comes down. I'm trying not to get supply blocked, all that stuff. I guess they're going up for another attack right now. Um, yep. Ah, no speed links versus Marines. And the big numbers, not so good. Bring them back to the spine crawlers. And yeah, their lings are getting pretty cleaned up right now. I see at this point they're like, okay, we've held off their their gay uh little cheese, uh their their seven pool. Their double seven pool. Now we're we're awesome, we're we're gonna be set. Little do they know, there are three factories coming out. Where's my armory? Armory should be getting built. Unless I'm just slow on the armory this time. Looks like I was a little slow on the armory. There it goes, dropping it down. These factories are coming out. I don't really have the minerals to support them yet, but I will. Because I'm going to keep on muling. I got my SCVs going. How many SCVs do I have right now? 31, by far the most in the game. So I'm just building a lot of SCVs. Dropping down all my tech labs now. Hopefully they're going to be... Now, I mean, I'm low on minerals, but I'm high on gas, which is, I mean, gas is going to be the hardest, is the hardest part about this, getting that second gas. And it's, once, once uh, everything starts kicking in, you're going to see how awesome this strategy is. Because, I mean, look, this guy's going Marines versus Thor's, not the best counter, you know? And what's he have? I mean, if, if he was good to go Mutus, um... Thors have a pretty good attack that kills Mutas. Um, and here we go. So he, he doesn't even have anything yet going on. He's just getting an expo out. And I already have had one since the, I don't know, like the four minute mark or the three minute mark. So this thing is really heavily kicking in now. Get my minerals up. First Thor. I was, I was messing with the 250 millimeter strike cannon. See if I could own some buildings with it but it actually takes a long time to get the energy to use it which makes it even more worthless of an attack but anyways what are you gonna do and um so here we go building more scvs more scvs coming out production tab three thors on the way and scvs coming out now my gas is still sitting good 
even my minerals are the problem, which is, I don't remember. Oh yeah, double upgrades coming down. Thor 1 out. Thor. Thor, 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 Thor. Look at those guns. They're freaking awesome. They're like, they should have a rocket pack instead of guns. You have like a rocket pack and just fly away with, I mean, that's, this is a, this is jetpack. Thor should be a flying unit. That is that is gonna be an upgrade in um in Harvest Worm. Thors have a jetpack upgrade instead of a uh instead of a strike cannon upgrade. So they can they can fly around the map with their jetpacks instead of having a strike cannon. That'll be a way better upgrade. And he's painting all over the place. I don't know what's up with that. He's got his marines on patrol exercises, they're working out pretty hardcore. Uh, these bunkers, they're they're rallying whenever they make a unit, they're going to rally them over there. Their bunkers are rallied to bring those guys over there. You know, a lot of great stuff's happened in this game. But the great things are right here. The great things are these stores. And I think he probably told me to go attack right now, so I was like, well, I guess. I want to kill these rocks so I get this expansion, because now I think I am running well on gas. Yeah, I'm at 100, 900 minerals, so yeah. And then I was like, let me grab the gold. Hey, there's no gas at the gold. That sucks. Brought my SCVs along. Got my Thors out. Got another one coming. Another one coming. At this point, yeah, I'm three factories producing Thors nonstop is basically all you can support off of two bases. But we'll see what happens later. I'm getting shelled like crazy here. Thors, not so good against tanks when they can't get on them. And Hydra's on the high ground. Pretty much blocked me there, pretty hardcore. But, uh, and I shot one of my CVs. That was kind of asshole move. But, uh, but I'm not over, you know. I'm getting my Thors regrouped, getting them healed up, getting some repair on them. And, uh, I'm just keep making my Thors, and they're really gonna start, uh, coming out. They're getting these rocks, getting everything going. Um, what else is happening right now? Here we go. Dropping down expansions. You're going to get to see the power of the Thor strat in just a few moments. Because now, I got Thors, and they have, they have, uh, nothing. They have, I mean, they have stuff, but they don't have anything that's going to mess with my Thors. And now he's going to send out his Hydras. You see, Thors are pretty good against Hydras. I mean, you could kind of, I mean, I don't know how else to explain. I mean, it's not like a very difficult strat to explain, you know? But it's, uh... But it is a strategy, nonetheless. Um, it's basically Ling Chi's followed up by Thor Awesomeness is the, the is the motto of the strat. Got one Marine up there doing doing his thing. Blow him up. Now, Marine. Now, Thors are pretty good versus tanks or versus Marines. Not so good against tanks and Marines, though. Oh, and he's going muted. That's that's a bad story for him. <laughs> that's 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 pretty accurate description of the Thor sound. I think that that is the sound that Thor makes. Now my Thors do get cleaned up right here, which sucks really hard. But I am um, I do have two more. They're just gonna go in here and blow him up really quick, and then Banelings are just gonna roll into those guys. Go Bannings, go, 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 go. Yes, yes. Kill them all. Okay. So there we go. Now it's like, well, let's get out of here. I got 12 kills. You got 7. I'm a sergeant. You're a corporal. Let's get out of here, buddy. Okay, friend. Let's leave. Let's hold hands and walk away. Because we don't have our jetpacks yet. And, um, yeah. So he just landed over here. And he, uh, he's just kind of rallying and... I was, I'm kind of a noob sometimes, so I didn't realize that you could totally kill these destructible rocks. I thought I had to float it over there. It's like, this is a great hidden expansion spot. But I actually have to kill these rocks uh, in order to get here. So, or you can kill those rocks, or you can float it in there. It's safer, but I did want to transfer some SCVs, so I'm bringing in my Thor crew. Now, this guy's probably like, this totally sucks, because he has Thors, and I decided to go Muta. These, and I don't have a second base, but I have a macro hatch. That, and I got rushed. This is just not my game at all. 
And then this guy's like, I'm going to Fester's, but I don't have a neural parasite for your Thors. And I got two bases. But I don't really, I don't really do much this game. And this guy's like, dude, I'm doing everything. I got Marine Tank. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing. This, this is a three strap for Terran. No, three strap for Terran is Mass Thors. And I really need to get geysers. So I destroyed that. Got that base up. Got the gold up. I'm just this is my this is my half right here. This is, this is all me right here. This is all my half of the map. Now I do have four Thors, one one upgrade. Do I have two two coming down? No, I'm a noob, I didn't upgrade it. But I don't have any gas. Oh my god, there's no gas. I think at some point I actually give them both like a thousand minerals. I think he's like, attack there, ping. Attack the ping. Like, okay, I'm gonna attack that. And now my guys are just, they're just chilling there. They're like, hey, we're Thor's, we're hanging out. And now this guy's like, I'm a Thor hammer, and I do 33 damage with that upgrade plus one that you gave me. Jeez, this is really a long game. It's slow, but the big engagement's about to happen where just the Thor show their total and complete dominance. And that's what they are. They're giant reapers. They're a giant reaper, except their jetpack is a huge gun instead of a jetpack. So, I mean, I think that's something that we should all look for in uh, the next expansion is, is Thor's with a, either a jump, like the reapers have, where they can jump over cliffs and stuff, or um, or just a jetpack overall where they, they kind of fly like the overlords do. I think that would probably... That's probably much... That's probably the direction the Thors are going to take in uh, in the expansion is definitely uh, from being upgraded from a ground unit to an air unit, and uh, I I mean I I won't be surprised either way. I mean if it if it does get turned into a flying air unit, then that that wouldn't surprise me. But if it didn't, that also wouldn't surprise me. Now look at this economy: 78 SCVs versus the 50 of the others. I'm all these Thors, they're like, here we go. Let's have a big middle battle, Purple. Okay, I'll meet you there. That was not, that was not actually a conversation that took place, but it very well could have. And uh, so here we go. Here's the Thors. They do have the energy now to use their strike cannons. I, is, that, is that the attack time? Two seconds? Fires at a single unit structure, stunning this target and dealing 500 damage over six seconds. I mean, what am I going to target on? The, I guess these would be ultraless killers? I don't know. <laughs> Let me run my marines in at you. All right, you can do that. You can run your marines on in at me and your hydras. And I'm just stream those hydras in. They move pretty slow. They really owned hydras in StarCraft 2. Hydras were pretty good in StarCraft 1. And yeah, so that pretty much cleaned up everything. He brings in his mutas now, like, hey, I'm gonna come kill some stuff, and he really did it. And yeah, so I mean, basically, I think I missed an attack up here by Blue, by Kratos. But uh, that that's that's a strategy right there. Thor Onage is uh, it's uh, woo, excuse me, it's basically speedling. It's basically uh, not speedling, yeah, slowing. It's basically an attack from this. Basically a. Uh, Six pool, seven pool, uh, seven pool rush followed by mass doors. Best three v three strategy. I think we, I think we won five in a row, six in a row. So it's pretty awesome. I mean, you might want to call it cheese, but I think Thors are just. I mean, I think I think we ended up calling it these, or uh, or chores. You know, something like that. A combination of cheese and Thors is what I was going for there. But um. Yeah, that that is it. That is the stratagem. That is uh, the strategy. The strategy. The strategio. That's what you want to do with two zergs and a Terran for three v three. It's the best strat you're ever gonna find. So use it because it's crazy good. All right. So this is uh, Lateralis, and I'll be signing off with uh, with no cool, um, no cool saying or anything. I should probably. Yeah, I'm just this is Lateralis signing off. Where's that button?